At the start of the movie, we are shown a chemical plant. Where new research and experiments are done, and dangerous weapons are made. This plant was in Libya. There were many soldiers guarding there. There we see the general there. He was very much happy with his family. But his happiness was not long lasting. Then a soldier is killed by a man. And now suddenly an attack is made on that chemical plant. Bombs started falling there, and some people who were sitting in their vehicles, were attacking the people there with guns. Now there comes the head of those people, those who were attacking there. Actually, he was a very big terrorist who had caught the general, and asks him about the bombs there, because here by using chemicals, dangerous types of weapons were made. So this terrorist came to get those weapons. The general does not tell him about the location, so that the terrorist threatens to kill him too. Seeing all this, the general, had told him about the bombs and weapons. But after knowing everything, that terrorist kills the general too. Now we are shown a man named Bernie, who had come to his friend's house. He was standing outside and listening to his friend talk, who was fighting with his female friend, whose name is Gina. Gina was fighting with her friend whose name was Lee, because Gina says that Lee, because of his work, does not give her the right time. Now Lee opens the door in front of where Bernie was standing. He had come to take him with him. Actually, Bernie lost his ring by playing gambling in a bar. But he liked it very much and it was very expensive. So he came to take Lee with him, so that these people can go to the bar and get that ring again. Bernie was a very good friend of Lee, so he gets ready to go with Bernie. Bernie tells him on the way that the person who has my ring is the biggest gangster here. So we should talk to the bartender first, so that he can take our ring back. When they go and talk to the bartender, he tells them that if you want the ring, then you will have to fight with those people. You will have to fight. Only then you can take your ring. Now Lee, who is very good at fighting, starts beating everyone one by one. He was beating everyone very well. Bernie, who was sitting far away, was watching all this very interestingly. He felt like there was a movie going on in front of him. Now when the last man survives, Bernie gets up to kill him. But that gangster's man returned Bernie's ring due to fear. Now the scene of the chemical plant is shown again. Where the same terrorist who had killed the general, now he was shooting and killing the remaining soldiers there. Next, we are shown the CIA headquarters, where we see the team of Expendable 4, which is also the name of this movie. Lee and Bernie also come there. Here we come to know that these two are actually part of the CIA team, which was very famous by the name of Expendable. Gina also used to work with the CIA. Here all these people are meeting a new companion. Lee and Bernie are told here by their companion, that we have got a mission which we have to complete soon. Then their head comes to them, who tells them that their mission is to catch a dangerous terrorist. That is the same terrorist, who had attacked a chemical plant in Libya. The head shows everyone his picture and also tells them about him. That he has another companion, who is a very big gangster. Now they all sit in a plane and leave for Libya. After about three hours when they reach Libya, the terrorist's team had attacked them. Now because of which Lee says that we have to get down from the moving plane. All the team gets down from the plane. But Bernie was still in the plane. He leaves his companions there. The terrorist had also stolen bombs and nuclear weapons. And after stealing, when he is coming out of the building, Lee's companion tries to shoot him. But his eyesight was weak, and because of this, his target was missed. Then Lee and his companion sit in the car and follow the terrorist. There was a ruckus. Bernie, who was sitting in the plane, was watching everything, and tells Lee to catch him quickly. He is running away with the bombs. Lee, who is behind his car. That's when Bernie's plane was attacked as well. When Lee sees this, he tries to help him. But Bernie says, first, you catch him and save the weapons. That the terrorist is taking and running. After hearing this, Lee says, everything is gone to hell, first, I'll save you. Saying this, he changes his way. From here, his mission was ruined. First of all, Lee destroys the machine, with which Bernie's plane was attacking. Then the terrorist man, also shoots the burning plane of Bernie again. Due to this, now, Bernie's plane completely crashed. When Lee runs on foot and goes towards the plane, he finds out that Bernie has left everyone forever. He died. Now the team of Expendable 4 was gathering in a bar, and mourning for their friend Bernie. That's when their head comes there, who says, Lee, because of you the whole plan is ruined. Because of you, our mission is ruined. So now I can't keep you in my team. You can go. Lee's other companions also say that if you wanted, you could have completed the mission. You also wasted our friend Bernie's sacrifice, which Bernie had given for this mission. After hearing all this, Lee leaves from there. He was no longer a part of the team of Expendable 4. So now he doesn't even have money. 
That's why Lee starts looking for a new job. He reads a newspaper, in which he sees the job of a guard of a social media influencer, who was a very ill-mannered kind of man. That's why Lee fights that man on the first day, and beats him and leaves his job. And then he came home. After coming home, he remembers his friend Bernie. Looking at his ring, he thinks that he will definitely take revenge on his killers. That's when he finds a file at his house. His friend Gina also comes to his house. The one we saw at the beginning of the story, she also used to work with the CIA. This means she was a part of the team of Expendable 4. He asks Gina, whose file is this? She says it's Oslot's file. This is about the time when Bernie had solved this case. Oswald was a very big gangster. There was a condition about this case, that as long as any person is connected to this case and he is alive, no one can open this case. Now, because Bernie was the only one who knew about this case, who was left alive earlier, now because he is also dead, that's why we got the file of this case. And now we will take revenge of Bernie. Lee gives her a dagger. He says, Gina, you take revenge of Bernie with this, kill that killer with this. In the morning, Gina had left before Lee woke up. Lee also gets up quickly and gets ready, and starts checking the location on his mobile. Actually, the dagger he gave to Gina, he had turned on the GPS system in it, so that he could know where Gina is going with her team. There, Gina and her friends, reach the head office of the secret CIA of South Asia. Here, Lee had left for Thailand. Actually, he had come here in search of an old friend of Bernie. When Lee meets Bernie's friend, and when he comes to know about Bernie's death, he was also ready to take revenge of Bernie's death with Lee. There, the team of the CIA, which is expendable for, is given their special weapon. That's when their head comes to them, who tells everyone about the same terrorist, who had attacked the plant in Libya, and had also killed Bernie. He had now hijacked a very big ship, meaning, he had seized that ship, in which a lot of goods were being taken. And he also says that Ocelot is also going to come on that ship, who is a very big gangster. This is the only chance we have to catch him. And now do your work carefully. Don't do it like you did in Libya. You had ruined all the missions. And that's why now I will also come with you. Gina now tells everyone about the mission that what they will have to do. She tells that first of all, we will get off that ship with the help of a parachute. After that, we will first kill Ocelot and then that terrorist. After that, we will get those nuclear weapons, which were stolen from the plant in Libya. And then our mission will be completed. On the other hand, he talks to Bernie's friend, the one who had met him. He asks him that you were such a good friend of Bernie. So why did you leave him? Why did you leave him and go? He tells that I killed a lot of people in my life. And I felt happy by killing them. That's why it was very important to stop myself. I left everyone and came here so that I could change myself. Now it is shown on the ship. The team of Expendable 4 had also reached the ship. But on that ship, there was already an army of terrorists. They surround all this from all sides. And by snatching their weapons, they had locked them in one place on the ship. After that, they all start accusing each other. That who got stuck here because of whose mistake. Then the men of the terrorist come there and ask them, who is your leader? Hearing this, their leader says that I am the head. So they take the head of the CIA and take him with them. Meanwhile, Lee and Bernie's friend also reached near the ship. Bernie's friend leaves Lee on the ship, and says that our companionship is over here. And now if the animal inside me wakes up, I started killing people again, and no one will be saved from me. So that's why you go and take revenge of Bernie. After hearing this, Lee says that it's okay. I am alone enough for all this. Now he reaches on the ship, and sees no one was there. He thinks that there should have been bloodshed here. But how can there be so much peace? Now when he goes inside the ship, a man from behind had pointed a gun at him, and tells him to stand like this, don't look back. Lee tells him not to look back or stand like this. In the same way, he traps the man in his words, he beats the man and leaves. Now we are shown a terrorist who holds the head of CIA, and talks live to the government that they leave his friend. Who was a big terrorist like him. Otherwise, he will finish the CIA team. There Lee was moving forward after seeing the location of the dagger. Which he had given to Gina. He kills the men of the terrorist on the ship and moves forward, and reaches the luggage of the expendable four. It means to his friends, and he had also taken an axe from the luggage, and kept it with him which was his partner's. There was a terrorist who was trying to contact his men, but no one answers him. Then Lee talks to him with a walkie-talkie, and says that all your men have slept for a long time. When the terrorist hears Lee's voice, he says, oh, it's you. It's good that you came here, I will send you to your friend as soon as possible. It means to the heaven. After this, 
The terrorist sends his army to kill Lee, but they didn't know about Lee, that he was such a powerful and dangerous man. Lee kills everyone and moves forward, and wreaks havoc. There comes Bernie's friend who had left Lee here. He had a dangerous weapon in his hand, with which he was killing one by one. When Lee sees him, he asks, what are you doing here? Have you forgotten the way? To which Bernie's friend says, how can I let Bernie's friend die? To the one whom Bernie loves so much. Now both of them face the army of the terrorist. Then they had also found the place, where their other companions were trapped. When they come to that place and see, but now they had also left from here. They had also found the way to get out of here, but they didn't have any weapon, and because of this, they couldn't do anything. Now Lee helps his companions to reach them, after which they all reach that bomb that the terrorist had put in the ship to kill them, on which the time of 27 minutes was running. Lee's companions tell him what will we do, to which Lee says, don't worry, we have only 27 minutes. After which the expendable four attacks the army of the terrorist. Everyone was killing them by showing their skill. Lee's fight with the terrorist. Both were fighting each other. Lee stabs the terrorist, on which he says, that's all you can do. That's the knife you. Now Lee hits his companion's axe and says, will you see a bigger knife than this? Or is this enough? Now Lee asks for the bomb's remote. On which the terrorist answers him, I don't have it, Ocelot has it. Meanwhile, a helicopter also arrives there, in which the terrorist's released companion was there. The army had come to drop him, but suddenly the head of the CIA comes there, who kills the companion of that terrorist. Actually, this head was Ocelot, who was a very big gangster and used to work with the terrorists. He had also brought his team here by deceit, so that he could bring them here and finish them, and all the blame should come on the terrorist. Because of going on his mission, the whole team of Expendables 4 was killed. Now Lee was also listening to all this. Who blows up the helicopter from behind? In which Ocelot was going to go. Lee didn't want him to go from there. On the same thing, Ocelot had also, thrown the bomb's remote into the water. After which he starts shooting at all the Expendables. Lee tells his companions, we will have to jump into the water, otherwise, the bomb will explode and all of us will die. Other than this, we have no other way. Hearing this, Bernie's friend says, why jump into the water? My boat is tied behind this ship. Now all of them come out of the back of the ship, and all of them go into the boat of Bernie's friend with the help of a rope. When Lee's turn comes, he cuts the rope, and says, don't let my sacrifice go in vain. There was still six minutes left in the bomb. Now Lee goes into the control room of the ship, and changes the direction of the ship. So that if the bomb explodes, the ship is not near the city at that time. There Ocelot also makes arrangements for a boat for him, and tells his men that none of the Expendables 4 should survive. But he didn't know that the Expendables had gone long ago. Now only Lee was left on the ship. That's why they start firing blindly at Lee. Lee was also firing bullets in response. But soon his gun runs out of bullets. Then he sees a helicopter coming towards him, and drops a bomb on the ship. When Lee comes out and looks, Ocelot was still alive. He was still telling him to fight with him. When Lee goes to fight him, he takes out his gun by deceit. Then the helicopter comes from above and also attacks Ocelot, due to which he also died. There was no one else in the helicopter, but Bernie, who was still alive. Lee is shocked to see him like this. Now he sat with him in the helicopter and left from there. When they come a little far, suddenly there is a blast in the ship. In the helicopter, Lee asks Bernie, how did you survive? I myself saw your dead body. Bernie says that 25 years ago, I was on a mission in which my eight companions were killed. Only its file could have come out then when I died, that's why I did all this drama. If I hadn't done all this drama, we would never have known about Ocelot. I just wanted to kill him. Lee asks where did you get this helicopter from? He says, my friend, old links sometimes are useful. Now, all the Expendables, to complete their mission, and to celebrate Bernie's resurrection, were gathered in a bar. Lee asks Bernie, whose dead body was in that plane in which you were sitting? He says that you remember the man who stole your ring. Both of them began to smile at this. And with this, our film's story ends here.